yours truly, Lloyd's ASMR. I recently made a post asking for everyone to to drop a question that they really wanted to know about. And I got a phenomenal amount of questions. And I'd like to say thank you so much for participating. These are really good questions. Um, now, you know, I might not be able to get to every single question, and I do apologize ahead of time, but I will try to get to as many questions as I possibly can. I hope you, uh, like my background. I hope it will help you uh, get into a nice, calm, peaceful, and relaxed mood. So, with that said, please sit back Right now, the microphone I use is a Blue 
Yeti. And I film with my iPhone. So, and I also edit with it too, with uh, iMovie or whatever. So yeah, I'd, I'd like to upgrade the equipment that I use, including my lighting. My lighting is a little Um, to create a video, 
I'd say, with planning and then execution, I'd say about two hours um, to edit. That would be about another hour. So, three hours for the whole thing. Now, sometimes planning can take a couple days, especially if I have to get a few things. But, yeah, genuinely, you know, generally uh, around three hours. Next question comes from Quiet Night ASMR. Do the people around you know that you do ASMR? And if so, what do they think of it? That's a very good question. Um, yes, they actually, uh, they do know that I make videos. Um, pretty much all of my family knows about it. And at first I think they were a little confused as to what I was doing. But they gradually uh, caught on to the whole thing, and now they, well, I know a, a few of them watch my videos, especially my mother and my stepbrother, as well as my one cousin and her kids, so that's, that's pretty cool. Question comes from Zeep5279. I'd love to add also that it would be a personal treat to have insights into your personal life and the peaks and valleys of such a well weathered individual. Whether fully Nonfiction or incorporated with Lloydville lore. It would be a great pleasure. Well, uh, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, um, you know, I'm, I'm going all out with my actual life. And I'm sure there's some Lloydville questions in here too. So, okay, next question comes from Lena Collins, nine nine five eight. Are you single? Um, no, I I have a girlfriend at the moment, actually. Okay. Next question comes from. It's really awesome. 
awesome. Oh, yes, some more can do that. Next question comes from Big Eminem Fan Guy 1010. If you were to ever make a movie, what genre would you choose and why? You know, there's actually a couple different genres that I'd uh, probably like to dig into. But, you know, one of my favorites is sci-fi, so that's probably the direction I'd go first. Just because it's one of my favorite things. Um, a couple other genres would probably be uh, like action. Like a... Um, a military action or police action flick, you know? And then, of course, um, maybe throw in a horror movie or something. And why? Uh, pretty much because, you know, they're my, uh, my go-to genres for movies. Next question comes from Zeep5279. How did you learn to achieve such a wizardly level of creating comfortability ASMR through your body language, vernacular facial emotion, use of weighted pauses, and it's like you were taught by many of masters. Well, that's that's a really cool uh, uh, questionnaire. And I don't know. I mean, I think it all just came naturally. Um, as for you know some style. I have been, you know, mentored, in a way, by some fellow ASMR artists throughout the years. So, you know, some of their um, teachings and guidance has kind of, uh, you know, rubbed off on me. But otherwise, um, Everything else is pretty natural. Next question comes from Anthony Pacararo5472. How did you come up with the story of Lloydville, particularly Old Man Lloyd? Okay, so this here is something that a lot of people seem to um, be unaware of. So, it all started when Ephemeral Rift and I collabed. Um, we did that on a couple occasions. We did it, you know, in person. And then also I did a part in a short of his called, um, uh, what is it? Uh, like Five Nights in Arkham Asylum or something like that. And I played myself, Dr. Lloyd, and I was a prisoner in Arkham Asylum or Arkham Sanatorium. So After that, we, uh, we collabed in person, continued the storyline, and then after that I just uh, went with it. I was also influenced for the story of Lloydville by the movies Hot Fuzz and the village. And there's also an episode of the X-Files and Supernatural that I was influenced by for the whole story of Lloydville. So it's a mix-up of all of those combined. I 
question comes from Max-RM9UV. Why does old man Lloyd like Reese's peanut butter cups so much? From lore perspective. Okay, so eventually we're going to find out about that. And it all has to do with the experiments that were being performed on Old Man Lloyd during his stay in Arkham Sanatorium. Next question comes from Juicy Knuts 9181 If you could have any power, what would it be? Well, besides everlasting life and health, um, oh man, there are so many that I'd uh, love to have. Telekinesis, for one. Um, psychic ability. But I'd have to say time travel. to travel back in time or ahead of time as well. I think that would be really cool. And I mean besides, you know, if you can travel back in time then, you know, everlasting life or health, you can kind of uh, kind of uh, work on that. That's a pretty cool question. Next question from April Wilkins 6424. What do you do with the food from your videos? This gets asked a lot. So any leftovers that I don't eat. I usually share it with uh, friends and family. You know, uh, I give a lot to my mom and my stepbrother, cousins, you know, things like that. It all goes to, you know, to use. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't go to waste or anything. Question comes from KM Said 9. Which Star Wars movie is the best and why? Um, I have always been a fan of the old very first trilogy, especially Return of the Jedi. Um, you know, I love the whole. in the forest uh, of Endor. Um, I love the Ewoks. The Ewoks are my, are my little pals. Same with Chewbacca. But, but yeah, I'd have to say Return of the Jedi would be my personal best. And why? Um, you know, sum it up because it has some some really good action in there all right next question comes from snowy xx do you also like to watch asmr and if yes do you have a favorite trigger or a favorite type of ASMR? Um, I used to watch a lot of ASMR, but now that I'm, you know, so busy and preoccupied with my own, I really don't get too much of a chance. But my favorite triggers are slow hand movements. Not ne 
necessarily um, on purpose. Uh, we're talking, you know, unintentional slow hand movements like um, s uh, slowly sorting through things or or slowly guiding along your fingers or words or, uh, or tracing pictures, uh, things like that, you know, some really slow gentleness. doesn't even have to be hand movements, it can also be, you know, slowly and quietly and gently talking, you know, kind of like this, you know, where, you, where the person drags out some words a little bit, like, like so, and, and, um, you know, just slow hand movements. Things like that. But yeah, those are my type of triggers. Next question comes from Tony James, 1993. All I know is I am very much looking forward to you to your autumn and Halloween themed videos coming up. You have mentioned before that you and your brothers, cousins are members of a paranormal investigation group. Just wondering if you have any, and unfortunately it cut off, but I can imagine what the rest says. If I have any personal experiences or any stories to tell, and I do actually, I have a couple personal experiences while we were out investigating. Um, I may actually just save those for a video, if you don't mind. Um, I think you'd probably enjoy that better than me telling them right now. So, let's save those for a video. Well, for next month. Halloween's coming up really soon, so. But I think, I think you'll enjoy them. Next question comes from Saberwolf714. Who is your hero or person you greatest admire? It can be historical or personal relationship, for example. My hero and and also the greatest person I admire would be Steve Irwin. Um, I'm sure many of you know that I'm a huge nature nut. Um, I love nature. I love animals. And he, he does everything or did everything that I always wanted to do ever since I was a kid to save, rescue, and protect nature and wildlife. So, yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely my biggest hero uh, of all time. So, next question comes from Bellaware. What is your biggest pet peeve? I'd have to say my biggest pet peeve is noise outside, especially traffic, when I'm trying to film these videos. <laughs> that would have to be my biggest thing that annoys a life out of me. I mean, I, I'm filming these videos at around 
anywhere from 12.30 in the morning to like 2 in the morning. And it always seems that somebody just has to be out and about somewhere even though there's nowhere to really be. I mean, all the stores are closed. Why is there so much traffic at two in the morning? Um, and speaking of which, a car just went by, so I had to cut the video. Actually, two cars went by. So yeah, that's my biggest pet peeve. I'd like to, for once, be able to record a video without any traffic going by. Next question comes from Jamie Winch. Hi Lloyd, I love your videos so much. I have two questions, if that's okay. That's absolutely fine. One, sorry if it's a bit personal, but are you married and do you have any children? Uh, and, and unfortunately, the other question did not show up when I printed this out. I do apologize for that, but um, uh, no, I'm not married and uh, I do not have any children. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry that the other question didn't show up when I printed this out. Um, but if you like, you can ask me in, in, uh, you know, the next video, in the comment section, or I guess in the comment section of this video when it comes out. But yeah, I, I do apologize for that. Next question comes from...
what was your inspiration? Uh, I already, uh, already answered this, but it's, uh, what was your inspiration for the creation of Lloydville, if any? And who is your favorite Lloyd to play? Okay, well, I can answer that second part. Uh, my favorite Lloyd to play would have to be Old Man Lloyd. Even though I only played him like once or twice. But, uh, it's really fun to get into his character. The voice and everything. So yeah, he's, he's probably my favorite one to play. Next question comes from Martin Chavez 1009. Oh, no questions. But, uh, no questions from me, bro. Just really hope anyone who reads this is doing well. Oh, that is awesome. That's an awesome, uh, comment. I like that. And, uh, I hope you're doing well. Okay, next question comes from Sir Lawton. What is a day in the life of Lloyd like? Also, here's a video idea. Trying different hot peppers. That would be an interesting video idea. Uh, but a day in the life of Lloyd. Well, before my hernia, um, I'd always be on the woods. I'd go out in the woods just to hike. I'd sit in some nice random spot half the time just to, to think life through, kind of, you know, meditate. And I used to just like to sit there and observe different animals, as well as plants and trees, and, and kind of, you know, study them a bit. I, I used to really enjoy doing that. Um, I used to also go free diving you know, just snorkeling. Usually without a snorkel. I just have a, a mask on. And, uh, and just check out everything under the water in the creeks, streams, and rivers around where I live here. I used to love doing that. It's good exercise, too. Swimming against the current. Definitely uh, make sure our muscles tired, that's for sure. But other than that, um, you know, go to the grocery store, uh, you know, wake up, get dressed, things like that. You know, everything that, you know, a normal person does. Next question comes from Julian WLD6014. How tall are you? I have always wondered, since some videos you look very tall and others not so much. Also, you are amazing at what you do. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you so much. And I am five foot six, I believe. So, I, I'm not tremendously tall, not like a, a sequoia, but I, I'm, I consider myself a, a small oak, or maybe a, a Christmas tree. Next question comes from WRH41, and this is a good question. Do any women live in Lloydville? Yes, they actually do. And 
I bet you're wondering what they look like. Well, they look like everybody else. Except, you know, more feminine. You know, they have all the uh, typical features of a woman. Sometimes it'll just pop in there. Yeah, you, know, you get those moments. 
moments where an idea just pops right in. Yeah. Uh, that happens a lot with some of these videos. It's like, hmm, well, now there's an idea, you know? But, but yeah, sometimes I'll take, um, like, uh, bits and pieces from something. You know, if I'll, I'll watch a TV show and I'll see like a, a, a bit on there that seems like it would be, you know, a really good ASMR video or an idea for an ASMR video. So, I'll take it and uh, go with it. Next question comes from and proud where do you think you would be in life without your ASMR channel like Lloyd's ASMR never existed where would you see yourself still have a YouTube channel but not ASMR based or doing something else that's not YouTube based maybe um, if I wasn't doing this, I'd probably just be going with the flow and, you know, just, just working some job just to get by day to day. Um, I'd probably, probably mainly uh, be in the woods, but yeah, I'd, I'd probably be in the woods all the time or as much as I could next question comes from DA underscore Twitter box 3191 what would you order from all of my food themed ASMRs. Um, you know, I'd have to go with a nice big Lloyd's Ice Cream Shop Sunday. Some of those look really amazing. And, uh, snatch up a pizza from Lloyd's Pizza Shop. Good question. I like that. Next question comes from Demon Xer Ness 3870 How are you? Mine is easy, but I just want to know how you are doing. Well, that is a pretty good question. I'm doing pretty good, actually. Um, yeah, today was nice, other than a couple rain showers. But, uh, I really didn't get out anywhere. So I just I sat, chilled, came up with the idea for this video. And that's about it. But yeah, I'm I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. And I hope you're doing good too. Hope you're staying safe. Staying relaxed. Next question comes from us what is are your favorite things to collect my favorite things to collect well when I can afford it I, I like to collect Jurassic merchandise you know I see it in the store and it's like and then, of course, uh, movies. 
believe I was rich, I'd probably buy out an entire antique store. Have my house all, uh, you know, vintage-esque. Next question comes from Matthew Houston 6967. What is your dream holiday destination?
rest of your life, what would it be? P.S. Love the video slide. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoy my work. Um, if I could only eat one dish for the rest of my life, I'd have to say it would be Chinese food. Um, I love Chinese food. Sweet and sour chicken. Uh, buttered seafood. You know, with the, uh, the imitation crab and some and squid, I think it is. Uh, it's delicious. Uh, uh, the walnut chicken, the... Even there's peanut butter chicken I usually get. It's delicious. But, um, other than Chinese food, I would have to say... Pizza. Preferably garbage pizza. You know, it's got just a mix of everything on there. It's amazing stuff. And then, of course, you know, any dessert you throw at me. Uh, I'll take it. If it's sweet, it'll satisfy, satisfy me. Um, next question comes from The Pain of Silence. What is your attachment to MREs? Were you in the military, family member, or just think they are neat? Um, so, I wouldn't say I really have an attachment to them. I just think it's a, a really neat thing to unbox and to try um, or review. So yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really say there's a, an attachment or anything like that. It's just, uh, it's, it's really interesting to unbox them and taste test them, see what they're all about. Next question comes from William Meyer, 2988. Favorite beer? Um, man, I have multiple favorite beers. I love my uh, Yingling Black and Tan. It's good stuff. Uh, occasionally I like Reds, Apple, Ale. It's a real nice sweet flavor to it. But I also enjoy uh, Yangling Oktoberfest, Samuel Adams Oktoberfest, uh, Heineken. Um, Stella Artois. Uh, let's see what else. My favorite cheese. Beer is Genesee Ice. Yeah, I know. That stuff we eat your gut out. But uh, I actually enjoy it. And my favorite international beers are, you know, like I said, Heineken, uh, Cellar Trois, Spot and Dark. Um, yeah, I, I, I have quite a list. Next question comes from Tibbs. Hi Lloyd, do you ever feel like you have been here before, as in a past life, or perhaps via experiences of deja vu? Yes. I have definitely experienced a lot of deja vu moments. And you know, there's, there's some things historically that makes me feel like I have witnessed it before, or like I have some kind of a 
attachment to it, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I definitely have had both um, deja vu experiences and, you know, that that weird, strange feeling that I've been to this place or that place or, you know, things like that. It's hard to explain when you feel it. it it's kind of weird. Next question comes from Bordingo90. What job did you have before YouTube? Before your YouTube career? I worked uh, quite a few different jobs. Um, I worked sanitation. I worked on a tree farm. I worked at Walmart. I worked at a, it was kind of like a, a holiday card factory. It wasn't like Hallmark or anything, but it was like a, a, you know, a more cheap version. That was, that was pretty fun actually. Um, you got to see all the different holiday cards coming out kind of gets you in the spirit when you see it. Next question comes from Peter Pan IK8ZM What qualities do you look for in a friend? That's a good question. Well, I always look for someone who's uh, honest, loyal, uh, friendly, of course. You know, someone who you can look to and depend on when the chips are down. You know, someone who's not going to stab you in the back or abandon you uh, when things get rough. But yeah, you know, all those good qualities that, that I think everybody kind of looks for. Next question comes from Manzanita ASMR. Do you play any white noise, music, ASMR, etc. while you sleep? I do actually. And, you know, uh, sometimes I'll play like, uh, like, uh, oh, I want to say like majestic music, uh, but it's like, you know, calming, peaceful, uh, digs in your soul type music. But usually I play nature sounds. I love nature sounds. Knocks me right out. Gets me into a zone. A safe, comfortable zone, you know. Next question comes from Alex Smith 8055. Hey Lloyd, what types of music are you into? I have quite a variety of music that I actually enjoy, um, which includes rock, indie music, uh, classical, you know, and when I say classical, I mean anything from the 80s and back. A lot of 60s, 70s, and 80s, though. But, um, the list is, is, uh, it's quite vast. So, maybe I could make a video sometime where I show my CD collection. I, I actually still have physical CDs, but to name a few, uh, Rob Zombie, Godsmack, Ramstein, um, that takes care of rock for a little bit. Uh, let's move on to indie music. Uh, Lord Huron, um, Mumford and Sons, uh, and one more. We'll do three for each. Um, and 
Beach Boys, uh, Jimmy Buffett, rest in peace, uh, Elvis, Beatles, uh, such and so forth, you know, lots of classics. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll make a video sometime showing off my collection. Next question comes from Davy the Man. If you had only one wish that could come true, what would that wish be? Oh, at this point, my my wish would be to to win the lottery. Um, you know, not only would it help my current situation, struggling, but I'd also be able to help other people who are struggling as well, you know, I, to be in a financial uh, struggle situation is not something that I'd wish upon anybody. It's it's not fun. So if I won the lottery, I would definitely help others out. But yeah, that, that's that's probably the first wish I'd wish for. Um, Another wish is to have my dream job, well, dream career of working with nature and wildlife. Next question comes from Peter the Great.
first got into ASMR by experiencing it myself. Um, you know, I was I was starting to get all sorts of stressed. ASMR signing off